Hi and welcome to Mountains for Everybody YouTube channel and site. Today I want to say a few words about a way of detecting crevasses on a glacier and ways of navigating through crevasses. So uh, I'm here in my site uh, where I have this uh, post published and uh, I can show you some pictures, my own pictures from glacier tours. Uh, so to share some impressions about uh, such areas. Uh, in general, when you inspect glaciers, you will realize that uh, uh, crevasses, when they are closed with snow, are usually some depressions in, this, in, in, the, in the snow, which is on the glacier. They are sometimes in different color. Uh, and uh, uh, this is how you can uh, realize that there are uh, crevasses there but the problem is not with those that you can detect the problem the problem is with those that you cannot and actually the reason for giving this picture is exactly this uh, this is a beautiful you see slope on my tour uh, to Biscorn. Uh, i was here in early morning and uh, this is a glaciated area completely but covered with a lot of snow. It was quite early in the season and the snow was rock solid because I was there early in the morning. Uh, I used crampon, of course, as you see, there is a trail here. So it was uh, all obvious, the direction obvious, uh, the path perfect. But after I published uh, this post several years later, I uh, realized that uh, somebody actually had an accident here. The, uh, there was a mountaineering descending from the same mountain. And somewhere in this area on the right in the picture, as he was walking down, a uh, crevasse opened underneath his uh, feet and he vanished. So it was a rescue operation uh, shown. Uh, they came from Zerma with the helicopter, put a tripod and uh, somebody went down and uh, saved the man. He was bleeding, but uh, it seems uh, alive and uh, everything was okay. So I, ac I actually had this uh, video included in my uh, tour description. This is my text in the site, the Bishorn Two Days Old Accent. accent. So, uh, and the video was uh, in my in this post for uh, several years, but then the video disappeared. Somebody removed it from YouTube, I don't know why. Uh, and uh, this is uh, why I don't have it now in the uh, in the post. But again, the point is that this beautiful area is actually covered uh, with uh, crevasses. And you can see them in the lower part, uh, closer to the hut, which is a uh, truck with hut. Uh, at the beginning of the of the road to the summit, when I was ascending from the summit, it was uh, several year, uh, several hours later. The snow was soft, and at one at one point, actually, my leg uh, dropped into some uh, small crevasse, and I realized how dangerous it was. But anyway, uh, if you are in a situation that you have to pass a glacier, and uh, uh, you can actually inspect the glacier from the distance if you have a chance. If you have a good angle, uh, good snow position, and so on, and I give here one example. This is again from my tour to uh, Barhorn uh, Mountain in the in Swiss Alps. It's interesting that Barhorn itself, uh, which is three thousand six hundred something meters, is the highest snow-free uh, mountain in summer in the Alps. But as you see, there is a permanent glacier on the uh, northeast side. And uh, in this picture, you can see it uh, covered with a lot of snow. And there are many interesting features here uh, regarding crevasses. So you see many of them are actually uh, closed. Uh, you have snow, snow bridges. They are covered by snow. Uh, there are several different types. Uh, so this is backshund. Obviously, pro probably these are also in the same, uh, the same type. But you see uh, depressions here, you see the difference in color. Uh, so obviously you have crevasse continuing in this direction. You see the difference in color. You, this is the, the view from the summit of Barhorn. And uh, it was so uh, clear because the sun was just perfect. You see uh, the, the, the 
straight here of, the, of this uh, ridge. So the sun was on the opposite side uh, quite early in the morning and uh, everything was visible. So if you are in such position and you know that you will be walking over such a glacier, then take a picture, even make some sketches of, of uh, how to navigate through this area. So perhaps if you have to come from here, you would probably go like this and then perhaps like this, uh, something like that. So make a sketch uh, so that you know how to walk here. Of course, uh, it's never a good idea to go solo. All these pictures are from my tours, solo tours. Uh, this is not a matter of uh, uh, choice. Uh, I simply didn't have a climbing partner. I had to go and that's it. But this is far from uh, wise. Uh, so this is uh, how you can inspect a glacier from a distance. And uh, this is what I pointed out in a section uh, here in the in the text. So you can, uh, from the, such pictures that you can find online, uh, you can see these sagging areas. You can see a uh, difference in color. And uh, all these features uh, will tell you something about uh, uh, crevasses that are underneath the snow. Um, here is yet another picture from uh, my another tour where you uh, see many open uh, crevasses and uh, as you realize this one is filled with snow so uh, this is a sort of snow bridge uh, is it safe most likely not uh, but if you have to walk through this area you see you would probably go through this part or through this part but there is no doubt that crevasses continue actually from one side to another, so they are just covered by snow. So again, if you uh, inspect such a glacier from, from, from a distance, you will see the crevasses and their direction and uh, take a picture of it. Then perhaps you can use it later when you are in this area. I also here mention a few types of uh, crevasses that are uh, typical for uh, standard glacier tongues. So you have transfers, shear and the longitudinal crevasses. These uh, longitudinal actually develop uh, in the areas where a glacier spreads into a wider valley. But uh, in many situations you don't have any irregularity. And here is again one picture from my tour in the Swiss Alps. You see this is a huge glaciated area. Uh, where I was when I was climbing Pigne de la Le mountain, which is here on the left, not visible. But you see, uh, you have crevasses everywhere in all possible directions and all covered by snow, almost all. So if you walk here, it is very dangerous. Actually, I had uh, uh, two people in front of me in the lower part. This is a guide and a customer and they were roped. And this person, a woman, uh, at one moment just dropped to up to her waist uh, in a in a crevasse that opened under, underneath her. Uh, he passed, and it was okay. But she stepped somewhere, and she almost disappeared in the in the crevasse. But she was again; she was on the rope, so she was uh, safe. And uh, how to navigate when you are in such situations? It's it can be complicated, but there are still some ways. I, I shall show you this example. This is from my tour to Rosa Blanche, uh, which is around 3,300 meters in Swiss Alps. So when I was there, this is what I saw, my own picture, and uh, a lot of snow. When I was there, I practically didn't have any idea about uh, crevasses. And, uh, but I knew from uh, pictures that I saw by some other people, there is a mountain on the right uh, in, in this direction, Montfort, where people go by, by uh, lift and then take pictures. So I have seen this same area when the, the glacier was dry without snow and it is full of uh, crevasses. So I knew that they, they were there. So what I did, I actually walk over this snow bridge, which you see here. So it's, uh, it's huge, as you see, compared to this part where the snow melted because of the rock. And uh, this is how I walk. So you, I went this part 
and then also another ridge here and only from that point I had to go uh, here horizontally and then uh, in this direction and this part actually was uh, dangerous because uh, at such places you can expect uh, places uh, you can expect uh, uh, crevasses this is called Bergschund where the the glacier uh, breaks from uh, from the upper part but it was okay I was on the summit and uh, I'm still here uh, on the other hand if you see such area and you know you have to go over it you see there is a lot of rock here so if this glacier can uh, keep the rock on it then maybe it's a good idea that you walk from uh, from one rock to another uh, this will be probably safer than uh, to go uh, through this area if it is uh, you see if this can be covered by snow and you don't see anything but you know that uh, crevasses are there then perhaps you can go over these rocks it will be safer than if you go here so this is all i wanted to say please uh, uh, follow the link below the video you can come here to, to my post and read everything uh, here uh, there are several videos that i included about the area and about the topic so uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like if you find this presentation useful see you next time